The valence shell electron pair repulsion model is also referred to as VESPER. This is the simple concept that the structure around a given atom is mainly determined by minimizing electron pair repulsions. Recall, electrons are negatively charged. Electron pairs, whether bonding or lone pairs, will repel until a maximum distance is reached. These geometries are called electron pair geometries. In this video, we'll look at the basic electron pair geometries around a central atom in a molecule. Imagine there's an atom, and there are two other atoms around the central atom. These atoms are bound by a pair of electrons. This is called the covalent bond, or shared pair of electrons. When there are only two electron pairs, the optimum electron pair geometry is linear, with a bond angle of 180 degrees. This makes sense. The electron pairs are farthest from each other. For three electron pairs, the optimum electron pair geometry is trigonal planar, with bond angles of about 120 degrees. Notice, as the name suggests, the molecule is flat, or in a plane. Also, there are more bond angles. 1, 2, and 3 bond angles, all 120 degrees. For four electron pairs, the optimum electron pair geometry is tetrahedral, with four bond angles of about 109.5 degrees. If you look around the molecule, you'll see the tetrahedral, or four faces. For five electron pairs, the optimum electron pair geometry is trigonal bipyramid. In the front view on the left, you can imagine two pyramids fused in the middle plane. There is a bond angle of 90 degrees going from the top atom to the middle plane, which you can see in the front view on the left, and other bond angles of 120 degrees along the middle three atoms, which you can see in the top view on the right. This top view looks like a trigonal planar geometry we saw earlier. Finally, for six electron pairs, the optimum electron pair geometry is octahedral, with bond angles of 90 degrees. You can see the front view and the top view are essentially identical. Also note in the top view on the right that the front atom is hiding the atom in the back. You can see this when I change the rotation here. Let's recap the VESPER model. It tells the electron pair shapes, or geometries, around a central atom. Those electron pairs can be bonding or lone pairs. You can refer to an earlier video on Lewis structures for drawing molecules for a review of bonding and lone pairs. For two electron pairs, the electron pair geometry is linear with a bond angle of 180 degrees. For three electron pairs, the electron pair geometry is trigonal planar, with bond angles of 120 degrees. For four electron pairs, the electron pair geometry is tetrahedral, with bond angles of 109.5 degrees. For five electron pairs, the electron pair geometry is trigonal bipyramid, with bond angles of 120 degrees around the middle plane, and 90 degrees from the top and bottom atoms to the middle plane. And finally, for six electron pairs, the electron pair geometry is octahedral with bond angles of 90 degrees. Our next lesson will be using the number of covalent bonds and lone pairs to determine molecular geometry, which can be different than the electron pair geometry.